So here is a blowhole and a cave. Now from the side you can see a cliff. So we're going to have the waves down here and this is going to be a cave. And uh, if we turn it around here, just take that little lock piece off. We can uh, undo the cave and have a look. But there's a blowhole up there. So you can see the blowhole at the top and then uh, we can see the cave down here. Okay, but if I open it up, then you can see inside and we can see here that basically this, this is the cave here. The cave is a tunnel-like cave and at the end there's like a shaft, a vertical shaft. And so basically that's what we can see. There's a cave on this side and that's connected to the shaft here. So if we shine a light down there, we should be able to get a light um, down here then we should be able to see light coming through the hole. So if I just shine a light through the top, that's it. Yeah, can you see I'm shining a light through the blower hole. And so if you go into the cave, you would see daylight shining through the case. If I split it open, you can sort of see how the tunnel light cave ends up with a shaft going down like that. So clearly the formation is, you've got the the uh, the jointing, and you can see here Lego has, has got cracks in it, hasn't it? All these little cracks are, are joins, joints. You can just about see here, see those joints there. Those are, those are the joints, are the cracks in the Lego pieces. Um, and uh, Weathering is going to attack those and turn those cracks into gaps. Hydraulic action can then get into the gaps and can blast open the rock, the cliff, and remove rock. And that's called hydraulic action. That's a break, that's erosion. And erosion is going to eventually be concentrated down to the bottom of the, uh, of the cliff. And where you have a vertical, um, a vertical fault, so for example, here uh, in the cliff, uh, if you have like a vertical fault where there's been some sort of movement in the rock, that's going to be a real line of weakness, and weathering is going to attack that. And then eventually, if you have some uh, wave power down here and you've got a, a, a you've got a fault line here, you're going to find lots of weak weak rock, and, and weathering is going to attack those gaps, the cracks, and then you're going to find hydraulic action is going to make a cave. The cave is going to go right through there until it meets some sort of vertical uh, vertical uh, joint, and then you're going to get to eventually a blowhole. The blowhole is formed really by um, waves pushing in here, a wave energy concentrated here. Um, eroding further and further and further back until there's maybe some sort of vertical vertical joint here which is weathered say by carbonation or by salt crystallization and you're going to find that the waves as the waves push in here as this air gets compressed by hydraulic action you're going to find that uh, any cracks there become widened uh, get blasted open forming this vertical shaft which is the actual blowhole itself